on this video, that's because your child may be getting ready to have a phrenectomy. So I want to review some ways to help them be prepared and to help you feel more prepared for that to happen. So we've talked, Miss Pris, about special tongues, right? Yeah. Can you show everybody your very special tongue? Yep, very special tongue. And I have a friend who really likes special tongues and puts diamonds on them. Pretty princess diamonds. So I have a Z-Vibe. You can use um, the end of an electric toothbrush. You can use just um, any kind of dental stick to practice doing the diamonds. So I turned my tickler on. Remember it tickles? I want you to show me your special tongue. Lift it up high for me. And I'm going to draw a diamond. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. What do you think? Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> So that's one thing I like to practice, having the diamond have things in their mouth. This I like the electric, um, the laser likely won't have electric on it, but it gets them used to having something different in their mouth. So we practiced that, and then we talked about what kind of mask do you wear when you go? Piggy mask. The piggy wiggy mask. So something that's really important to know for the piggy wiggy mask or the nitrous oxide mask to work, they have to be breathing through their nose. So let's see you breathe through your nose. We have a couple things. Um, we have, this is the end of a, um, hmm, what do you call it? Uh, we can just call it a medicine thingy. I don't know. An administrative thingy. This is from um, like an albuterol treatment. So you put that on the nose, practice breathing through a nose. I'd like to get a nitrous oxide mask to practice with so they really get the full effect. But also a medicine cup is something you could do. Put right on the nose, hold it there, let them practice breathing through their nose. I wonder if you open your mouth, can you still breathe through your nose? Good job, she's breathing through her nose. So let them practice that. The more they breathe through their nose, you can close your mouth now, um, during the diamond making, the more relaxed they're gonna be. If they're breathing through their mouth, they're not gonna get any of the benefit of the piggy wiggy nose, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so it's good to prepare them to lay down, good to prepare them about the diamond, good to prepare them for the piggy wiggy nose and the last thing we're going to prepare them for is after we make that diamond about six times a day um, some providers do every so many hours we're going to be doing lifts so that mommies and daddies can see the magic diamond under there right yeah. and is the magic diamond going to be there forever no no it's going to be there for a few weeks um, and it's important while we have the magic diamond that mommies and daddies check it a whole bunch of times during the day right Okay, so I'm going to... What if it's a school day? Well, yeah, I, I might see you at lunch, or we might do it a couple times before school or after school, but we'll figure that out, okay? Or we might plan to see the special doctor that likes special times for a time when we can stay home together, right? Okay, so I'm going to show the mommies and daddies on here how to check the diamonds, okay? So you're gonna, I like to do glove fingers. They say it's okay not to, but I don't feel comfortable. If you're not using gloves, you need to have your nails cut very short and you, need, you can close your mouth for a second. And you need to have your hands cleaned. So you're gonna come on each side of the, the diamond wound and you're gonna be lifting up and back and holding for five seconds. I'm not gonna be able to lift hers very much because we still have our visit to make our diamond. We don't have a diamond yet, but I'm gonna show you what it would look like. So go ahead and open your mouth. I'm going to come on each side and I'm going to pull up and back. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. What do you think? Good. Easy or hard? Easy. The more you practice that before you go to have your appointment with whichever provider you have chosen, the more comfortable your child's going to be with you being in their mouth after they've had that magic diamond placed on. So um, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns and we will see you next time.